Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today we are going to discuss what is GitHub Code Space and how we can use it. So you can see as the name suggests, it is a code space which is provided by the GitHub. So GitHub provide one virtual machine in the form of code space. There you can do your development work. So let me go to the browser and then show you what is GitHub code space. So let me go to this and you can search GitHub code space on the Google and go there. And then let me try to brief you about this. So you can see uh, with the help of GitHub code space, you can start coding instantly and you can go down. You can see it provides a uh, multiple features like it provides the ID called Visual Studio, JetBrains, Jupyter, where you can do your development. Okay. Similarly, you can see it provide you a uh, faster speed for your development work. So you can see it provide one uh, virtual machine either of 16 core or 32 core having some good amount of RAMs and storage so that it can speed up your development work. You can see dev environments on any machine. You can like you have a laptop or let's say you have a tablet and there you have opened your GitHub code space and then you can start the development there. So it provide a virtual machine and which is very uh, efficient, very fast. And then there you can create your own code space and then start the development. Okay. And it provide a lot of features like you can see you can online uh, get the Docker image of uh, your application. Lot of features are provided by the GitHub code space. So first of all, this is the brief of the GitHub code space. You can go through this uh, application and then look for it. If you want to start uh, logging into the GitHub code space, you can come here to this page and then get it started for free. Now it is free, but they have the plans and pricing also. Okay. So now what we'll do, we'll try to create one GitHub code space for one of the existing repository that I've already pushed to the GitHub and then I will try to run that application in the GitHub code space. Okay. And I will show you how it is working. So let me go to the IntelliJ and show you which application I have developed. So you can see this is the Spring Boot application and it is a simple API that I have created here, which is a Git API. So when we'll run this application and we'll hit this hello API, then it will return this welcome to engineering Adda message. So let me try to run it locally and then show you how it is behaving. And then I will try to run this on the GitHub code space and then show you how the GitHub code space is working. So let's get started for that. So you can see our application is up on the port number 8080. Now let me go to the browser and then let me hit the API. So you can see we are getting this message. Welcome to engineering Adda. Okay. So what I will do, uh, we are good now. So what I did, I push this code repository to the GitHub. So let me go to my GitHub account. So let me log in there. So come here to the repository. You can see I already have pushed this repository in my GitHub account. Okay. So you can go there and you can see. So I logged into my GitHub and I come to my repository. Now uh, you can come to the code and you will see this two options, local and code spaces. So from here also you can create your own code space for the particular repository and do the development of that code base. Else what you want, if you want to create a separate code repository, a code space for your GitHub, then you can also create that. I will show you those things later on. But here what we are going to do, I have created this simple application and I push this application to the GitHub and now I'm going to that repository and then creating a code space for that particular repository and then try to run that 
application in the code space and show you how the code space is looking like and how the configuration of the code space we can do okay so you can come here to the code space of the particular repository and then click on create a code space on master so this is the branch on which i am going to create the code space so it will take few seconds to create the code space for you so you can see it is started setting up the code space for us so it is automatically picking up the visual studio for us so it will open a visual studio and inside that it will open our project okay so just wait for few seconds and uh, let me try to go to the browser let me go to the code space that is active now let me go here and then change some configuration so you can see there is an option called change machine type you can go there and you can see it it was uh, taking up the two core now let me make it to the four core and 8 gb ram and 32 gb extra space so this is the configuration of the machine the virtual machine that it will give us to run our code space so just update the code space okay and uh, come here okay so it is recommending you to extension pack for java you can uh, install the java for it so just install it so that you can run your application okay so just wait for a few seconds if you are familiar with the visual studio code it will be helpful for you uh, i was just using the intellij but yeah let me use the visual studio code here so come here to the sources go to the source file main java this is how our uh, spring boot application will look like this is the application and this is the git mapping that we have created here okay in the terminal you can see our application is uh, there so let me try to do the maven clean and install and then we'll try to run our application here in the github code space okay so before going there let me try to tell you that you need a, a java which it has prompted us when uh, i was configuring the code space so i installed the java for this project okay so you can come to this extension you can see this so the java is installed for this project in our github code space now come here and let me try to clean this project first so you can type the command mvn clean so it will clean our project and download the dependency let me try to install all the dependency that we have included in our pom.xml so in our pom.xml we have only uh, web application sorry web dependency S okay so nothing else i have so this is the simple application that i have developed so let me try to do the mvn install here okay so you can see it is started downloading all the dependencies here and then it will make our application build okay so our application is built now now what i need to do i need to make this application up so let me come here you can see on the top right uh, there is a run option right so you can click on it so you can see it is saying that importing the project it will take few seconds to import the project for you and then it will run our project so you can come here to this manage extension okay so yeah just uh, wait for a few seconds you can see it is importing the project it will take few seconds of time and then it will import and then make your application up okay so just wait for that let me go to the java and load the project here so go to this java load project so here you can see java project will load so we are uh, create we have created this uh, code space newly so it will take few second a few minute of time to configure itself according to our project so 
just wait for that make it enable go to the view project so you can see your uh, java project will open here okay so you can see it has uh, included the dependency and imported the project here and you can see our project is or our application is up on the port number you can see this notification has come your application running on the port number 8080 is available now you can directly click on this option called open in browser so it will make your uh, application up locally so you can see this is the url that it uh, code space has given us to access our application locally okay so let me go to the code space and this is the endpoint that we are going to hit so copy this come here and then just paste it here and then enter so, so you can see we are able to fetch the details right so the code space is running our application fine okay so if you don't have any local development environment setup then you can use this github code space to run your application uh, in the coming video i will tell you how you can create your spring boot project from scratch in your github code space and run it so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks